The escape is, oh, look at that, we're heading back to Twat Munch Manor. Uh, what happens is there has been a murder and DCI, Marilyn Robertson, knows all about murder. No, I don't. <laughs> no, see, I was, I was just wondering, that message from Will, it kind of makes sense now. Horse, skin, <laughs> Marilyn. Hey, I'm not the horse killer, Billy. Don't start, Mary Lane. <laughs> so I didn't kill a fucking horse. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't kill a horse. One day I'll tell you all the story. Right. <laughs> so Mary Lane is DCI, Mary Lane Robertson. Uh, she's got to figure out what's happened. There has been a murder. And uh, our writer tonight to put this story together is your very own Attica Christie of hair bands. Let's hear it for my sister Murphy, ladies and gentlemen. Stu, paint us the picture. Tell Woo! us the tale. Come with me to a country manor where there has been, shockingly, a murder. Someone has been killed. We need to know the room in the house where it has been, uh, the body's been discovered, the occupation of the murder victim, and most importantly, what weapon uh, was used to kill them. Now, what weapon we was used to kill them is what we're coming to you for. If you've got uh, suggestions, enter those into the comments of the weapon or the everyday object that was yes. used to kill this person. Uh, now, in the meantime, I understand, Natalie, you've got to decipher the room. You've got to decipher the room. So you're going to, it'll, the body will have been found in the private zoo. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow. Not a public zoo, the private zoo. Wow. Like, I, I actually attended a zoo at the weekend. Well, kind of, I went to Blair Drum and Safari Park, which is the site of where I got knocked out by an emu once upon a time. Another story for another time. <laughs> <laughs> you can't take a selfie with an emu. You're now. basically you can't take a selfie with an emu. You're basically fighting all neck. You know who yeah. tried? This arsehole. <laughs> <laughs> Bang, right in the middle of my eyes. Uh, never mind. Anyway. Like... <laughs> it's a great story, haven't it? Uh the occupation of the person found in the private zoo um was beekeeper. Beekeeper. I can, you, do I can do that. I can do that. Now, so with Private Zoo and Beekeeper already taken care of, we need a murder weapon for Gary to impart and for Marilyn to guess. Can we have a look for all the favourites coming out through the suggestions, please, James? James has fucked off. James, uh, are you there? James? My, my apologies, my apologies, I'm here. Uh, nice just a, a special shout out to Jamie Burns. Don't worry, she'll be back in a second. That's how the game works. Don't worry. Um, so, <laughs> we have <coughs> Sparrows. <laughs> Uh, plush pineapple, tomahawk steak, wow. uh, a fart that smells of Will's body. <laughs> That's gross. That's a toasted bad. marshmallow, no. uh, mm. a violent dwarf, uh, a frozen bag of minced Will. Can I just say these? Uh, John uh, Staten has got a pretty good one. It's uh, a Street Fighter 2 arcade machine. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. How do you feel about that, Gary? Um, I have no references for Street Fighter or Street Fighter 2, so yeah, let's do that. Thanks, John. Oh, so you're okay. going to draw a blanker? Huh? Oh, come on now! Oh. That, that's it. Sorry, I don't. I don't think Mary Elaine would necessarily. She would know Street Fighter. Be a big player, but it's a Street Fighter 2 arcade machine. Street Fighter 2 yeah, arcade no. machine. So, yep, yep. murder weapon. Uh, the murder has taken place in the um, private zoo. The occupation was beekeeper and the beekeeper. murder weapon, a Street Fighter Two arcade machine. Don't fuck us up, uh, Gary. Here we go. Let's get Natalie. Uh, Natalie, excuse me. Mary Lane back wow. in. Wow. God, are they all the same? <laughs> G'day, there's been a crime. Yeah, it's been awful. I just, I can't believe, like, where it was as well. Just, like... Animals everywhere in the zoo. Yes, but a, a very particular type. I mean, it was. It's weird how just like it's you know it's like I was just on my own. It was so in peaceful. Snake house in the zoo. No, not quite. Although you know there was one, but nobody else has seen that snake house because it's it's just it's just my snake house nobody yes. else is allowed in very the secluded the secret reptile house the secret snake pit i don't entirely know where all the snakes are coming from <laughs> but, <laughs> but just you know there are lots of the snakes are there 
but there's like the snakes have friends as well you know the secret zoo way <laughs> well done well done ah thank goodness you're here detective Good I I mean it's uh, it's a big blow to the community I mean uh, he was a, he was a honey of a man that's all I've got to say he was a honey of the man but uh, ah but never mind you know it's uh, he'd spend most of his time wrangling these fat wasps he was the honey that Luke monster no, but he was a fan. <laughs> he was a fan. He spent most of his time looking after these fat looking wasps. Christopher MacArthur Boyd? Wow. <laughs> He's got that bit about wasps. Okay. Oh. <laughs> no, 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 no. Imagine if you would. Imagine if, well, you know, uh, particularly. The porridge will have to go. We will have to have salt or milk. The Scots porridge oats, man. Sugar, but we won't be able to have that natural sweetener that we all love that comes from these little fuckers. He was a beekeeper. He was a beekeeper. <laughs> Woo! Sorry, CMB, if you're watching. <laughs> he won't be. Ah, ah, yes, there you are. Oh, it was, it was such a shame how. How he was killed. There's there's no way he could have seen it coming, even though it obviously came from the side in a scrolling fashion. Because it was like a train? Well, I, no, not at all. It would have been a special finishing move, if anything. I mean, you could slowly see his life bar just draining away until suddenly it was all gone. It was the moving text at the bottom of the screen? No, 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 not, not, not at all. I mean, obviously, if someone just came up to him, put their 10 pence in, or however much, or put a token in. and He was a, and, he was a slot machine man? No, no, well, not a slot machine. No, something much more graphic and graphical. As, uh, he, he, Hadouken! Bless you. He he died because he was stuck inside a Street Fighter game. Oh no! But, yeah, oh, oh, well, uh, not the original, the sequel. Street, he was stuck in the Street Fighter Two computer game in the two D arcade machine. Oh yes, 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 yes! yes. Oh my God! Stop the clock! Stop the clock! James has yes, it was has an arcade Stu's machine because there was no beat. consoling him. Has Stu's record been beat? I don't think it has. I think Stu was one forty oh, last week. Yeah. Damn it. Oh, Stu reigns supreme. So time in that Australian accent. <laughs> <laughs> oh, why? it was Australian. All oh, right. Okay. <laughs> oh, I don't know why amazing. I thought I should bring it. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to at MacArthur Boyd, who's CMB, uh, for anyone who wants to get that reference. Um, I'm sure he's got gigs coming up. Get tickets for his shows. <laughs> right. <laughs> like he'll plug us are you fucking mad right okay uh i love you cmb uh checks in the mail 